Zen Bound 2. Although I never played the first game, this one seems pretty fun. It's your basic, standard, tying a rope around wooden objects until they're completely painted uh, genre of game. You know the type. Let's put a smile on that robot face. The strategy is uh, pretty evident by the video. The point is to touch every crevice of the statue, the little figurine, with the painted rope. And once the entire statue is painted, you, um, you're finished with the level. You actually don't have to have the entire statue painted. You just have to have enough, something like, I don't know, 70% or whatever. I like to get everything done, though, or as close to 100% as possible. There, my S&M robot is complete. There's a really big selection of different levels you can choose from, a ton of different figurines to paint, so there's a lot of actual gameplay value in this game. And you would be right to think the game is kinda laid back almost to a boring extent, because it is very laid back and it does get boring after a while, but if you wanna play something relaxing and laid back, and once in a while I think everyone does, you can't just keep playing modern warfares all the time. Uh, this is definitely the game to play. Now on the bottom left you have what percentage of the figurine is painted, and on the bottom right you have how many centimeters of the rope you have left. Pretty simple concept to follow. Just make sure you uh, don't run out of rope. Uh, even if you do, you can just kind of pull back and take off some rope, so it, there's really not a lot of ways to lose in this game. It's just a fun thing to do and relax. This game really doesn't take a lot of effort, but later on as the game progresses, the figurines get a little harder to uh, color the entire figurine. I'll show you some figurines that are really hard. You can play this game with basically one hand. All you need is the use of a mouse, so if you're one of those people who likes to keep your other hand occupied as you play, this is definitely the game to do it. I'm not judging you, I'm just saying, if you're one of those people, this is the game to do it. Yep, that's a blue laser, all right. Set all phasers to tide. Damn it, Captain, I'm a ropist, not a doctor. Pew, pew, pew. I'm a fire in my laser at you. Take that. If you'll notice, on some of the rope, there's little packets. These are explodable paint packets. They basically cover a larger surface area than just some paint on a rope. Earlier levels will have a lot of these, while le later levels will have them strategically placed on the rope, or there just won't be any, or there will be very few. To finish off, all you have to do is uh, tie the rope around that little nail on any figurine and that ends it. It's best to do it when you're at 100% or as close to 100 as you can get. That way you get all the achievements! Quack! Quack, quack! Aflac! Now, a lot of these figurines don't even make any sense to me. I'm not sure what this is. It's like an anteater 
mixed with a turtle and a hedgehog? Do I need to be a... Do I need to have a degree in zoology to properly play this game? Now you'll notice the uh, paint packets in this level are actually on the figurine, which is really helpful. You gotta get all of them. Because there's no actual paint on the rope and there's no paint packets. But I didn't even need to get all of them. You see, I got 100%. There's still plenty of paint packets on the hybrid creature. The abomination of God. Hedgehog, anteater, turtle thing. I'm playing this on Steam. That's what I'd recommend getting it, because uh, I see no actual gameplay problems, no lag, no um, glitches. So, if you want a safe bet to play this game, get it on Steam. I didn't test it anywhere else. What's this? Is it a crossbow or a bull? Now, as I, as I told you, the figurines get stranger and harder. And a figurine like this would be a harder one, just because of the weirdly placed crevices. And, of course, to get the best possible score, to get all the achievements, you gotta, you gotta get into them crevices. Because you gotta really paint every single part of these figurines. So getting through those crevices can be really hard, especially when they're really thin, or they're in an uncomfortable place to get to. Like... Like the butt crack of a really big elephant. You know if you're an elephant and you're really big and you can't get your tusk all the way to your butt crack? Like, how would you wipe? I guess elephants don't really wipe, if I think about it. Maybe they do. Do elephants wipe? Somebody look that up on Wikipedia. And if it's not on there, it needs to be added on there. Because that's, that's an, an, um, a very important piece of information that the world needs to know about. You know, I think it's time to play America's favorite game show. What the hell is it? I say it's a chicken that's flying through the air. No, no, it's a guy with a backpack. No, no. It's it's a rocket man. Oh, no, no. It's it's a hunchback. It's like it's like that hunchback from 300 or the hunchback of Notre Dame. No, no. It's it's a scout on a on a trip, on a scouting trip, and he's got his uh big big bag of uh uh important things to have while you're in the woods with uh sexually frustrated counselors and bears and things. I think this green chicken is about cooked. Oh yeah. 89% is pretty close to uh, to 100, I guess. I mean, if this was a test, 89 is definitely passing. What do you think, freak chicken? Wow, another freak chicken. Hey, I just painted your cousin. He enjoyed the color salad. Like, light greenish. I guess you like white. That's fine. This is like almost a sumo wrestling man, but he's kind of like too thin to be a sumo wrestler. And things like this. You see how the crevices are weirdly shaped and once you actually tie around certain parts of a figurine, it's really hard to go back and uh, get into the crevices. You actually have to unrope some things. Like in, in this instance, I'd have to unrope some things in the crevices to actually get every single part of this little man thingy, majiggy. So it's a fun game, definitely a fun game. If you got a few bucks, you need to have some time to waste, tired of the modern warfares and in-your-face action, you just want a fun game to play and relax, Zenbound 2 is your game. No doubt about it. We're gonna do a little happy victory dance once this thing is painted. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.
Stay tuned for tomorrow's game review. Now's the time on Sprockets when we dance.